Hello everyone. So uh, for a long time I thought about starting a course for CSI Net uh, for Life Sciences and I finally decided to do it. So three, through these series of courses uh, we'll talk about all the topics that is important for qualifying the CSI Net for Life Sciences. And this one is the first one and in this video we'll be talking about sex chromosomes right so let's start with that sex chromosomes so most animals show sexual dimorphism or in other words an individual can be either a male or a female in most of these cases sex is determined by special sex chromosomes right so for example sex is determined by sex chromosome for example xx in female humans and xy in male humans right so these are the special sex chromosomes x and y so in every individual there are two types of chromosomes two types of chromosomes sex chromosomes and autosomes for example in humans humans there is 22 pair of autosomes autosomes plus one pair of sex chromosome right so this can be xx in female or xy in male so that is that now as you can see human cells have 46 chromosomes human cells have 46 chromosome 22 of which homologous pair of autosomes and two are sex chromosomes the sex chromosome in human are x and y the females the females they have two x chromosomes that is one pair of x chromosome in males there is a non-identical pair consisting one x and one y human females are homomorphic homomorphic means only one kind only one kind of chromosome is present that is x and male are heteromorphic because it has one x and one y now y chromosome is relatively shorter relatively shorter than x and has around 397 genes while x chromosome is around thousand genomes the y chromosomes is divided into three regions this is a y chromosome as in as you can see it is divided into three regions the first is male specific region of y chromosome that is from here to here it also consists of the centromer so from here to here this is the male specific region of y chromosome the first one the second part is pseudo autosomal regions par 1 and par 2 as you can see par 1 and par 2 uh, one at this end one at this end so these are pseudo autosomal regions the third is heterochromatin regions this is the heterochromatin region present on the short uh, on the longer arm heterochromatin region in the longer arm of the y chromosome so this is the y chromosome schematic diagram now what we know about the pars or the pseudo autosomal regions the pseudo autosomal regions contains 20 protein coding genes right so it contains the pars contain 20 protein coding genes six genes are in par one and four genes genes sorry about the spelling mistakes four genes are in pars two Pars are present in both X and Y chromosomes. The pairing of X and Y chromosomes is made possible by the major pseudo-autosomal region PAR1. So PAR1 is the major pseudo-autosomal region because it has around 6 genes, sorry 16 genes, 16 genes in PAR1. So, so this is the major pseudo-autosomal region which is present in the shorter arm, short arm of the chromosome while par 2 is the minor pseudo autosomal region this is the minor pseudo autosomal region located on the tips of the long arm par 2 is located on the long arm 
Now PAR1 does not undergo X inactivation. PAR1 does not undergo X inactivation. And because of the crossing over alleles at these loci, do not show the normal X-linked pattern of inheritance, but segregate like autosomal alleles. So PAR1 of X chromosome and PAR1 of Y chromosome, they undergo, you know, crossing over. So, so they do not really show the X-linked patterns of inheritance. Now, the male-specific region of Y chromosome contain 23 protein-coding genes and numerous pseudogenes. So, this MSY, M male-specific region of Y chromosome contains around 23 protein-coding genes. Mm, genes, while the rest are pseudogenes. Now, it in this figure, we can see that in female there is two X, two X X chromosome, and in male there is two X one X and one Y chromosome. Now in female, the par one is present at one end, the par two is present on the other end, while N P X, which is non pseudo autosomal region of X chromosome, is present on the rest of the part right so this is x chromosomes in female but in male the one is x chromosome just like this one the y chromosome on the other hand also has one par one and one par two on two opposite ends of the chromosome well this part is msy which is male specific region of y chromosome well this is the heterochromatin right so at each end of X and Y chromosomes, the parts are present which combine during meiosis and therefore contain the same genes. So the par 1 of X chromosome in female and the par 1 of uh, Y chromosome in male contain the same genes. Also the same about par 2. They, the parts contain the same genes in a male and female X or Y. The parts in X or Y whether male or female contain the same genes same genes same same right they contain the parts always contain the same genes whether male or female x or y they contain the same genes but this npx that is non pseudo autosomal region of x chromosome and male specific region in y chromosome do not recombine with each other during meiosis or uh, undergo crossing over and so the difference between X and Y chromosomes arises because of differences in NPX and MSY. Because this NPX and MSY between X chromosome and Y chromosome, they do not recombine. These regions do not recombine with each other during meiosis. Hence, the differences between an X chromosome and a Y chromosome arises because of this NPX region and MSY region. Thank you for watching. Please like and subscribe. In the next video, we'll be talking about sex determination in humans and in some other organisms. Thank you.